Good morning tubers, it's Farron here and I've got an in-depth review on this box set from Games Workshop, Death Storm, the Shield of Baal. Got through the post this morning, I pre-ordered it last Thursday and I got it today and um, I've had a quick look at it already and I, and I must say, um, yeah, it's pretty damn cool actually, the, the box is rammed with sprues and I mean rammed, it was actually, the top of the lid was, bul was bulbous so um, yeah, you, you get a lot for your money. Um, I think £75 to what I paid was, um, I thought it was very good, to be honest with you, because um, if you add up all the individual costs of everything that's in the box, it comes to around about £240. So if you're just starting out with Warhammer, 40000 I would say this would be the kit for you, for yourselves to get. It is a limited offer, mind. So get them quick while you can, because they're more likely to be sold out before Christmas is even here. But, um, what you get in the box is that you get uh, your Tyranid Force and you get your Blood Angels Force. You get a, a, I think it's a 20 or 40 page supplement with it, um, mission book, 7th edition mini rule book, templates. I haven't seen any whipping sticks though. A bit disappointed at that, but never mind. Anyway, I'll um, get on with it showing you guys the content. So. Um, I've ju I'm just holding the lid in my hand here, just for all intents and purposes of the um, intro of the video. So here we go. Right, let's get rid of this. Okay, first brews I'm going to be looking at are the Tyranid Warriors. And first off, we got on here is basically the arms and bodies of the Tyranid Warriors. I've actually ordered uh, an, an additional set of these off eBay. Got them for 13 quid, so um, I think that's a pretty damn cool price, to be honest with you. So, um, the detail in the weapons, I don't know what the weapons are called. Uh, maybe you guys can actually um, tell me about that. But um, yeah, let's spread this out and have a little bit of contrast. There you go. So, yeah, the uh, detail on the parts, on the sides, the claws, it's just brilliant. I mean, Look at the detail on this main weapon here, under my finger, under this one there. That is just fantastic detail. I'm going to have so much fun painting these, because of the detail is just awesome. And along the body as well, that, I mean, you've got the, the carapace on the back there, and you've got the tender part underneath, a bit of a rib cage. It's all looking good. And these are quite big minis when they're actually built up as well, I mean, brr, about that big, I would say. But uh, these are looking pretty tasty. Mm. Must control myself. It's just a piece of plastic fat. Just plastic, but it's nice plastic. And then on the second sprue, basically two small sprues still joined together. And these are your heads, parts of your bodies, main weapons, and uh, lots of accessories. I mean, lots. There is oodles here. So it looks pretty damn fine. I mean, it's like one of the head pieces there and there's really nice detail on those teeth and then you've got the top of the head there call it the crown and then you've got the rib cage very nice and then there's the back plates the carapace very good and also you've got the, the crown of the head there as well and you've got different options in this as well there's like um let's have a look do, 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 do. yeah there's four different options on the sprue so yeah you can, if you have double sets you can differentiate what you got but nice crisp i'm not seeing any flash on these at all mold lines they are there but they're very faint but they will be coming off it's one of my pet hates is the uh, mold lines uh, you can, you've done a good paint job and then you put a wash over it and then washes and dry brushing and are not very forgiving when it comes to uh, mold lines. So it's always good practice. Take out that extra bit of time to remove them. Right, look at all of this. Very, very nice detail on these weapons. It's really good. And then on the other side where the hand's holding it. Again, you know, it's... A lot of effort has gone into the sculpting of these um, 
models. I mean, I, I do take my hat off to Games Workshop. I know we, we slate them all the time for their prices, but when they launch a box set like this with two battle forces in to get you started, it is good value for money. You can't. I'm not complaining. There's that big gun there. Which I think the command leader of the of the pack would would have, I imagine. Like I said, I've I bought another set of this off eBay where somebody's split it up and they're flogging it to make a bit of cash. Um, yeah, I've got another set of these because I want six of these. I don't want three. I don't think three is really going to do much damage on the battlefield, so double it up. I think it looks rather tasty. And I think in the new year I'll be doubling up this battle force anyway. Right. And with the Gene Stealers. These are pretty funky. I, a little detail on this. I mean, I've got some. Um, where are they? No, I think I'll put them away in the cupboard. I had um, a car boot sale. I, I bought some uh, 12 Gene Stealers for a pound. And they must have been what came with the original Space Hop game when it first came out. And um, comparing them, looking at them now, if, if, if memory serves me right, compare it to these new ones, oh, they're, they're just like kids' bloody um, Lego bricks in comparison. I mean, the, the, the detail on these ones now, I mean, you've got separate armor plates to stick on the shoulders and all that now, which is pretty cool. And a lot of options. And it's got like a Lictor head there on there and then you've got one here which looks like a xenomorph head it's got like a mouth on the end of the tongue and then you've got like a spiky tongue on this one and then this one's got a rather large pointy thing looks like three spearheads coming out of his mouth and then you just basically all on here you've got like mouths open different positions and a closed position on that one and uh, the, the limbs the arms etc really nice i have no idea what that is maybe we you can use it for um an objective marker or something i don't know it doesn't look like part of the um actual um gene stealer itself it looks something completely different but it looks cool and then you've got all these um i don't know what you call these spore mounds i guess maybe in the game you can use these as objective markers for your force because you got two sets of these, you get eight gene stealers, and um, so I can see them now, yeah, so you, it's basically this sprue is just duplicated. But look at these, like, got scythes on their hands there, look. It's nice, really nice. One I'm thinking about just buying another set of these as well, and do some conversions. Yeah, seriously thinking about that. I have a load of these gene stealers, like, spewing out of a hole in the ground or something you know if a morlock is coming out the ground and then you've got a load of gene stealers following it coming out the sides ready to twat some soup space marine guys uh, this is uh you know it, it, this is obviously an old model because it's got 2004 written on it but uh nonetheless it's really crisp it's nice Oh, I like that very much. Oops. That kind of flew into the box, that one. And then on this next brew, this is like the Carnifex. And it looks like we've got what, six head, op head options. Or five head options, sorry. There you go. One, two, three, four, five. And then you've got like the large size. Yeah, they look bigger than the ones that you got with the um, Trigon. There you go, it's more weapons, smaller weapons on that sprue there. And then you've got some um, like barbs to go on the carapace or the limbs, whichever way it may go. But uh, yeah, a lot of options here. One, two, yeah, you've got f quite a few heads to choose from. Oh, that's pretty cool. Mustn't grumble looks nice and again it's got 2004 printed on it so it's obviously they've chucked in the old kit 
Well, yeah, to me, it's, it's no big deal, to be honest with you, because it's still a nice model. And here's the main sprue. Let's say there's not a lot to the car effects if you look at it, really. I mean, you've got these shoulder plates here on the back and the shoulders, and you've got the main body plate over there. And it's nice detail. And again, 2004. The body is one molded piece, which is nice. Nasty mold line going down that tail though. That'd have to come off. And yeah, it's good detail all around. Even if uh, this actual model is 10 years old, you have got a lot of. Um... Wow, I never noticed that before. You've got like all these um, pits on the top there. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, I like that. Oh, imagination's running wild now. So yeah, it's quite a big model as well, because you think this part here has got to attach onto there, so you're going to have a model, you know, about that big, you know, about five, six inches long, so um, and maybe a bit longer with the talons on the front, but um, looking rather good. Nice. And to finish up, I think we've got some more parts for the car effects here. Is uh, just weapons and tubing, and again on these weapons here, nice detail. Some more spikes, breastplate there with a brain on it. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have fun with this. <laughs> right, and then I think this is the last sprue, which is the new Broodlord. He is molded in one large piece and very nice detail indeed. So from there to there is yeah, not very big mini, but look at the detail that he's got underneath that rib cage and the skin pulling tight underneath his neck. Got a gaping mouth open there. Got two choices by the looks of it, which is nice. But no, it's not. It's just too hard. My mistake. And then you got here the um, this part of the base which he is standing on. Oh, look at the, look at these! Oh, that is just menacing, oh, and they're quite sharp too. <laughs> well, the mold lines going around this part here, which is uh, easy to clean up, but the detail is is nice. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> okay, next we're up is the Blood Angels, is Captain Killian, whatever his name is, and yeah, it's pretty nice detail on here, I mean look at this, detail on the front of his armour, the chains and the cloth hanging down, and then we've got these like these pendants, um, a little teardrop jewel there, the detail is exquisite. And it's really nice on the back of this on this section of the cloak, which is nice. Um, then you've got basically his weapon that he's holding, a bolt over the telescopic sight on it, or a laser sight, back piece of his um, Terminator suit, large thunder hammer, a bit of iconography to go on the top there, and really good detail on his mush. Get that to focus. Come on, focus. There you go. So yeah, some really nice um, detail on this mo on all of these models. And these new new minis that they put in with that is pretty good too. We've got the Terminator sprue. Right, I guess this is going to be like a, an objective marker. This. Um, thing here. I've got no idea what that is. Some nice detail on these uh, Terminator heads as well because you've got like uh, he's got like some sort of um, infrared sight on his eye there. And then you've got uh, four other standard Terminator heads. Shoulder pads again very nice detail. Let me get them in, in the shot. There we are. Yeah. Loving it. 
That's some sort of... I don't know what they are. Some sort of baton, I don't know. Choir boy whipping sticks. I don't have no idea. Alright, and these are the guys with the jetpacks. Oh, uh, wow. There's a lot of stuff on here. I mean, loads of heads. It's individual um, purity seals. There's probably just the one in there, but there it is. Do, 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 do. One purity seal. They're easy enough to make out of green stuff. But, um, ba -boom. oh, look at these. Nice shoulder pads there with, uh, with a scroll draping down. And you've got Blood Angel teardrops hanging off the edge. Yes, very cool. The detail's pretty good. When was this made? When was this published first? 2009, so you've got a five-year-old model kit here. But still, for five years ago, yeah, pretty damn fine work. Some nasty mold lines on here though. Could just see them now on the edge of this um, chainsaw. We won't be able to see them on the film here, but I can see them. There's, there's a bit of cleanup to do on these. Not a lot, but just a little bit. But um, with the um, backpacks and everything, no, this looks this looks a lot of fun. Yeah, I look forward to doing these. The next change from Space Wolves. Oh, look, we got um, Banner. Okay, and we've also got um, Rocket Launcher as well. I'll be using that. We've got, we got a Big Melter, Auto Cannon, Bolt, uh, Power Fists, Power Fists with Chainsaws. Uh, got some nice detail on this shoulder pad here for the uh, bearer. Hmm, it's pretty damn cool. Oh, that's a cool head. Baldy bloke. I like the baldy blokes. They just look grumpy all the time. Come on, focus if you will. Oh well, never mind. But uh, yeah, pretty damn dandy. And the last brew is the Dreadnought. And again, how old is this one? 2010. Okay, fairly recent really, so four year old and uh, almost five years old. But uh, the detail on this is pretty good. I'm quite... Um, oh, this is really nice actually. Yeah, you can have a lot of fun with this. A lot of detail here, look. The top part or front, wherever this may be on the actual dreadnought. But it looks absolutely marvellous. And then you've got um, all these icons on top of the, uh, well, the face in the back of the unit itself. That is really nice. And it looks like you've got uh, an option there as well. So you've got a choice of two. Well, choice of two fronts, so you can have like an open front or a closed. Hmm, interesting. That's very good, yeah. Smoke dispensers, large spear of some sort. I'm not seeing a pilot's head though for that open cockpit there. Maybe it's on another sprue, I don't know. But it looks lovely, it really does. And on the other side, it's just the reverse sides of the unit. Oh, there's that head unit there, look. There it is. He looks pissed off. <laughs> I think anybody would be if they're stuck in a machine or they're a bloody working career in the forces. Anyway, that's it for the sprues. And then we got all the bases. So you got like the 25 mil, the new 35 mil. You got the 350 mils there, and good old 40 mils. And then there's the dreadnought base. Yeah, I can't 
final effects base. That's the base for your root lord. And then there's an odd 25 mil base there, possibly us for the um, new captain. And then we just got that in here if I can pick it up. It's a tiny little decal sheet with the uh, blood angels on it. Okay, so that's gonna basically. Yeah, look where he's made. Doesn't say. Well, I hope they're better than the other decals they do because they just crumble. And then lastly, we've got a supplement and a rule book. I'll get my little knife. Oh, it's crumpled. Mother fudge fudge. Oh, that's pissed me off. Fuck's sake. Excuse my French. So here we go, look. The rule book. Nice colour, lovely pictures. There you go. So there's you know, there's lots, as we know, you get a lot of uh, eye candy with these books. I mean I was looking up the uh, Leviathan book last night, I found it on one on eBay. 70 quid but whew, I can't part with 70 pounds just for a book but there's like you see there's a lot of eye candy in there eh, not bad I suppose it's a rule book that I need anyway so that was one of the reasons why I went for this set because you get all these individual little knickknacks in there I mean, you got all the there you go kind effects instructions Instructions for the Blood Angels Captain, for the Gene Stealers, Blood Angels Death Company, Blood Angels Terminators, Tyranid Warriors, and this must be the new one for the new bits. No, this is just for the uh, Dreadnought. Right. Pretty damn good actually. Just a little annoyed that little crump crump on top of the uh, rule book. Never mind. So this is a supplement. Oh look at that, that is awesome. That's really nice. These are the additional battles on Phodius, what it's called, or Phoebus, Phobus, Fallopian, I don't know. Uh, really nice artwork. So one thing I do like a Games Workshop is the artwork by the artist, John Blanche. Don't know the other ones, it's just Blanche is the one I know the most. And they do look awesome, I mean, uh, it's just lovely. And it gives you ideas for painting for weathering as well, where you've got like the faded armor at the bottom, and then you've got the bare metal showing through. That is, uh, that's really helpful. I, I follow a lot of concept art, and actually to add that into my models as well, to actually give them a bit more realism, rather than just having a like, plain bright red. So look, look, here you go, it's pictures of all the units. So yeah, you've got the new captain at the top here, and then the Terminator units. Really nice. Dreadnought, and these other guys. And you get, then you get all the Tyranid stuff. Some really nice artwork there. I mean, artwork, models, photographs, really nice. Gives you that inspiration to actually... Um, there you go, look, you see that? There's all the scenarios now. Separate missions in there. All the stats. So this your captain's got weapon skill six, ballistic skill five, strength four, toughness four. Um, oh god, what does a W mean? I keep forgetting a W. Initiative five. You're not very brainy there. Uh, armor three, leadership ten, and armor saves two plus. I think that is. That wounds three. Aha, remembered. Wounds three. Could take three wounds. Oh, these guys are easy to kind of follow with wounds one. 
Mm-mm-mm. What a lovely, really nice artwork. Some more eye candy there, look. Hey. Okay. Hundred and seventy points. Uh, Children of Cryptus at two hundred and fifteen points. That's one hundred and seventy points. Whoa! Still, it's like a mini codex as well, which is pretty cool. Awesome! I really enjoy this. Uh, I shall do updates as and when they come along. And uh, give me your thoughts. Uh, I know a lot of people have already bought this and they've done reviews. Um, I just had to wait for mine to come through the post. I, I was a bit annoyed because purely it was um, pre-ordered. And the pre-order I was thought would have been delivered on a Saturday because I ordered it on a Thursday. But no, it didn't get to me until today, which is Thursday, the 11th of December. But uh, never mind, I've got it now. I'm happy uh, and I'm going to have a lot of fun with it. But uh, I'm not going to start it until I've finished my um, Space Wolves. We all know why I'm going to start it before I finish the Space Wolves, don't you? Yeah, of course you do. But no, seriously, I'm going to try my best because I've only got... I've got two more just to finish up, you know, dot the I's, cross the T's. And the other two, two that I've got left just need to be fully painted. And um, I'm, I'm going to try and get them done over the, over the weekend and hopefully start this next week. Well, thank you for watching everybody. And I hope I haven't bored you for too long because this video has gone on for nearly half an hour. And it's going to probably take about a day and a night to bloody upload. So anyway, thanks for watching. Give me your thoughts. Hope you enjoyed the video. And if I don't upload another video between now and Christmas, I hope everyone out there who subscribes to my channel has a lovely Christmas and a happy new year and you get all the things that you want. Okay. Remember, love your families and build a model. Take care.